Hey, Tamani, uh, great win. Just uh, uh, could, what a furious comeback. Uh, could, could you point to anything in particular that sort of uh, key, sort of spurred you guys on to that uh, run there between making three pointers and 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 getting stops. Uh, you just didn't let them come up for air. Uh, I believe it's something Coach said a lot. Um, the most desperate team going going probably win the game. It's just we we come from two losses. They come from two losses. We just stay true to ourselves. They played a great game, but I feel like we were just really connected on the court. And um, everybody was playing their part. The the ball was moving like like it needs to. Um, it was just a great game for us, especially as creation. Charles, are you there? Okay, let's go ahead and go with Jason Butt and then Mark Weiser. Hey, it's Monty. Um, how pivotal was it, you know, about 13, 14 left in the uh, second half, you guys were able to get into the bonus there. Um, how pivotal was that when you guys were able to get four points from the free throw line in, uh, in just a minute's worth of time to really spark that comeback? I mean, it's really important, especially in the crunch time, um, when as soon as there's a foul, you're able to um, go to the free throw line. So it's something Coach said a lot of tight in the room to be able to make them in foul trouble and be able to first out that advantage as soon as there's a foul again on the free throw line. So it's definitely one of the goals we need to like keep on, keep on doing, make sure we attack the ball first and once they're in foul trouble and then if not, that's how shots get open anyway. So we just need to stay aggressive and make sure we're attacking the top. Tamani, uh, Justin obviously was uh, struggling the last couple of games, you know, on the threes and, and so was the whole team. I mean, what was it like to have you guys in that groove there, uh, you know, and then him uh, responding as he did offensively? Uh, Justin's a great player. I mean, of course, he's not probably not going to be able to play great every time. We got a team where everybody can play good. So. So it's not something that that's gonna affect us, I believe, because we're gonna be able to pick him up in anything. But he just found his rhythm today, and then I think it's something he can do every game. It just sometimes the rhythm is is harder to find depending on how the game is going. But he had a great game today, and we really needed that. And his energy is really important. He's a really important player in the team. So. All right up next, let's have Mike Griffith and then Tori Heck. Uh, yeah, Timon, you talk about the desperation. Can you just talk about that put back in the end one? I mean, that was a pretty clutch moment in the game for you. Uh, I mean, that's what it is, really, like, make sure we focus on every moment, every little details, and stay focused at any point in time. So on the free throw line, it's something I, I really try to focus on, make sure I'm, like, focused on every, like I just said, details. But it's, like I said, it's desperation. So we just lost two games, and we're hungry and I feel like it's, it's something we have to have, even if we win games, just be able to win this game more than the other team. And it's just really important for us to keep that mentality. Timon, a couple of weeks ago, Xavier used that same word, kind of desperate about the season um, and winning the games. And coach said he doesn't like to put that kind of like bad pressure on y'all. Do you feel like there's a way to keep the pressure in a positive light rather than letting it slip and be stressful? Yeah, like, I mean, we just need to say, like, focus on what we do and stay true to ourselves and believe the game plan and believe ourselves and believe our teammates. And I think at this point, when there's this trust between everybody, I think we can take on any team and the pressure should not be a problem because the, the trust between each other is, is great. So I think it's something we, we, we started doing better uh, going against the games, but we st I feel like we're still learning about ourselves a little bit and every game is a new story and then, we just keep on going, learning every time. All right, up next, let's have Jed May and then Ryan Curley. Uh, hey, Tumani. Uh, in the second half there, Coach went with a lineup that was really small. It had Garcia, KD, Jack Snedder, Severe, and um, and Justin. And they went on a big run, cut the lead down to one. What was it like seeing that lineup on the court, just really getting things going in the second half when y'all were struggling? Uh, I mean, it's, it's good to watch, good to see. I mean. It's the type of moment when you feel like they need to stay on the court and especially keep the run going. And I think it's the type of moment when everybody's connected, like I said, on the court and the energy is just very positive on defensive end and offensive end. And that, that's, that was one of those moments at that point. So the offense was great, the defense was great. Everybody was talking, the connection between all of them was great, so. Tamani, the energy from you guys in the second half looked to 
to be a lot higher than the last couple of games. Do you think that had a lot to do with the win? I'm sorry, a lot to do with what? Do you think that had a lot to do with the win? I mean, definitely. Uh, like, like I said, again, it's who was most desperate, who wanted to go the game more. And I felt like maybe the second half, we were just more focused on the little details, more passionate about, um, I will not say passionate, but more um, more hungry for the win. And, and we just attacked it way harder than we did the first half. And that's how we should, that's how we should play every time. It's, it should not be a question about that, but yeah, definitely. All right, thanks so much, Tamani. Up next, we're gonna be joined by Justin Kyer. All righty, let's start first with Chip Towers and then Mike Griffith. Yeah, how about that second half, Justin? What, uh, uh, you, you guys got, got down real quick by uh, 13. I know that's not the way you wanted to come out of the gate. Then what happened in your – what what uh, what sparked that uh, furious run, particularly uh, defensively? Yeah, um, we just miscommunicated on some crucial uh, possessions in the beginning of the second half. So – that kind of dug us deep. So we knew, you know, we could fix those mistakes. Um, we knew we were going to have great defensive stops if we could fix those mistakes. So that's what we really locked in on um, and, and, and tried not to settle um, offensively and, and, and get them to move um, and get them to foul. So, uh, yeah, we just made a, a few critical mistakes, you know, at the, in the uh, first of the second half. So, um, you know, we, we, we locked in on that and, and, you know, you saw the outcome of the game, you know, we continued to get stops throughout that, um, throughout that time. Justin, uh, you, you'd been in a, I don't know if I'd call it a slump, but you, you hadn't been hitting shots with the same regularity as usual the last few games. And yet when we asked coach Crean about it, he said he had all the confidence in the world in you. What does it mean when your coach stands behind you like that? And how does a veteran like you play yourself out of that and have a pivotal night like you did tonight? It's the best feeling in the world when a coach, when a coach believes in you and has, you know, all-time high confidence in you as well. So um, it's, it's, I think it's more honestly mental than anything um, in this league. That's how tough this league is though. That's how great this league is. And, you know, that's, you know, every single night, the different scouting and, and you know, how they play you is just all-time different. So, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a slump that, you know, I try not to get myself down on and worry about too much. You know, I come out and, and do the same routines I do before a game, same routines I do before practice. Um, and, and, and not try to change anything. You know, I try to stay consistent with what I do. Um, and I know, you know, things are going to work out. And, you know, when I play bad, other guys step up. So, um, you know, I, I try to not play um, bad every single game. You know, I try to defensively stay into it no matter how my offense is going. But, um, yeah, I mean, we just, you know, we came out today and, and really attacked. Um, so that's how I'm proud of this team for sure. Okay, let's have Charles Odom and then Davis Baker. What did you see as the turning point when you guys were down um, by 13? Was there was there one key that you can point to? Man, I can just say, I, I just felt the spirit in the room. Um, we met with a kid after practice, or after the game today. I know you guys know him, his name's Tayden. Um, and I saw him before the game, most of the guys didn't. And, you know, you know, I won't get into, you know, what's going on, but, you know, that's a great kid. And, and he definitely upped our spirit today. Um, even though we didn't know he was there, you know, I just feel like, you know, we felt that, that, that energy in the room. And on top of that, you know, just locking in on defense, um, being down 13, you know, you can't give up easy buckets and you can't foul. Um, so we continue to lock in on defense and, and, and try to, you know, convert on those, you know, different stops and turnovers. And, you know, it worked for us. And, and I think we can continue to do that going forward. Um, if we play great on defense, I think that helps our offense um, even more. And thanks, the, the fans definitely, you know, showed great love as well. They always did. Uh, hey, Justin, this was y'all's first win uh, over a ranked team this season. Uh, what does it do for the morale and confidence as you guys head towards the end of the season in the SEC tournament? I think it builds our confidence. Um, I think we, we know we can't settle though. You know, when you get games like this, I'm um, against a ranked team, great team, um, great, great uh, SEC team and a, by a great coach too, coached by a great coach. So, um, you know, you, you can celebrate this win, you know, um, be happy about this win, but 
you have to stay locked in because we got a couple more games to end the season. Um, and we can't slip up now. Um, we want to build off this. So, you know, I think we're, we're happy about this one, but we're not satisfied. Okay, let's have Griffin Callahan and then Lance McCurley. Hey, hey Justin. Uh, it seemed like there was a lot more energy on the floor tonight. What was the mindset of uh, you and of the team coming into this game after Saturday's loss? We just really wanted to attack uh, practice and, 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 and build on the little things that, you know, we didn't do well against those other teams. Um, you know, defensively, just, you know, being a lot – more energized, showing hands, communicating better on defense. Um, you know, when a lot of teams in this league can score, they score, you know, we can score as well. So um, the thing that obviously stopped them from scoring is your communication on defense and trying to stop, you know, them for running what they want to run, um, kind of mix up things and, and make them think a little bit. So um, that's the thing. That was just the key is just, you know, locking in on defense, being energized and, and, and going, following through with the game plan that our coaching staff um, has for us. And they did a great job today. Hey, Justin, when you, uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hey, when uh, you hit that three to pull uh, the team within two, uh, I don't even think you, when you took the shot, you just kind of looked back and did you knew that was, did you know that one was going in? And when you're, what was your reaction uh, when you, when you uh, turned your head to the sideline? Yeah, I mean, I, I knew it was good. Um, Savir, you know, he found me in transition. Um, he draws so much um, when he attacks the paint. Um, yeah, I, 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 that felt really, really good. So I kind of knew that was going, and I wanted us to get us okay. uh, us energized. You know, I wanted us to, you know, have the people in the room, you know, start getting energized. So um, once that happened, you know, we went on a run as well. So, you know, I just try to, you know, do what I can do. Um, you know, knock down the shots I can knock down and, and just help this team continue to get better every single day. All right, and the last two questions, let's go for Palmer Toms and then Jed May. Yeah, Justin, you got off to a big start, you know, had 10, minute, 10 points in the first 10 minutes. Uh, how important was that for you and your confidence tonight? I just saw they just, um, they gave me some stuff that I like, you know, a lot of, um, I felt like I was being hesitant on, you know, attacking the paint. Um, these last couple games. Um, so, you know, I had to just get my rhythm back, you know, and individually, um, just, you know, not forcing anything, just, you know, giving what the game comes to me. And I think I might have been settling a little bit more on the three point line and not um, making the teams, you know, um, have to know that, they, you know, you can guard the three, but you have to also guard the dribble. So um, I just try to be aggressive. Um, and, and that's, you know, what the outcome was in, you know, the first 10 minutes was just, you know, they gave me some lanes that I liked and, you know, just continued to go with it. Justin, for about a six-minute stretch there in the second half, Coach went with the lineup that had you, Severe, KD, Jackson, and uh, Andrew Garcia on the court. Um, I imagine that might be the first time that lineup's been on the court together all year. Just what was clicking for that lineup over that six-minute stretch? You know, you cut the lead from 11 down to one. I mean, it was pretty hard to probably to match up with just because you got some bigs. So, you know, we were uh, pretty small. So we have to rebound and, and box out. But that's a great defensive group as well. I'm not saying anybody else on the, you know, on that bench isn't great defensively because we all are. But that's a great defensive group, and and we were, you know, coming up with big stops. Um, and offensively, you know, they had to guard our quick guards, you know. So, um, you know, coach has his has his, you know, coach is very smart, so he knows, you know, you know what he's doing, and and, and he knows, you know, what he can do to win. So, you know, we trust him, and and you know, us five on the court, you know, he's got to be dogs and, and and get this win. So that's what we did. All right. Thanks so much.